let's start with one of the stars of the show, which is the CW Advanced Dirty K-Pack. And what I'll do is I'm going to just select my object, and of course, I can grab any one of these. I'm going to pick this dirty paint. I'm going to say add material to this. So as you can see, we just instantly added a blue paint with scratches and, and kind of abrasions on it, as well as uh, even apparently a little kind of a edge wear across the borders. And if I go into cycles, you'll see that we have kind of the same look. So uh, works pretty good. They work pretty seamlessly going between EV and cycles. So uh, let's go ahead and look at another material. Let's look at this CW panels and I'm going to add that material to here. And now you see that we have this kind of metallic panels look. And now I can adjust all of these and I'm going to do that here in just a minute. But I'm going to just go through a few of these first. Uh, this is worn steel. Add material to that. And that's kind of the panels, but without the actual panel texture. It's just it's just steel that's got a different textures on the outside. A little a little bit, as you can see, it's got some of the worn areas in here. If I go into EV, you'll see that it again looks very similar. And then last, let's look at this CW Super Dirty. We're going to add that material. And the Super Dirty is an interesting one. Let's take a look at it because really what we have here is we have just the ability to add a dirt layer. And so how does this work? And truly the way this works is you just come in here and you can create any material you want. It doesn't matter. It can be an existing material, one of our existing materials. And let's just say that we make it, you know, something like this kind of, uh, you know, orange material, right? Shift A, we're going to add a color. This is basically doing the exact same thing or an input RGB. And I'll go in here, Control C, Control V, I'll hook this up directly to our base color. So you can see that how that works. So the way that this super dirty works is I'm going to Shift A, and I'm going to go to group and you'll see that I have a bunch of different CW groups. These are all the groups that I've installed. We've got one, two, three, four. We have a bunch of different super duties because we've added them. I can just add any of these because what I want to do is I'm going to spread it out a little bit. And you can see this has got two users right here, right? So I can just click this little button up here and and now we've created a single user by, by doing that. So now we have anything, we, any change we make to this group only affects this object here. So let's first thing do, let's go and see the strength says one. Let's just give it a one strength and see what that looks like. So there, we've kind of added a lot of dirt all the way around the scales. One, let's go to, let's just use the defaults here because they're pretty good. Strength is one, brightness is zero. So the brightness actually allows you to adjust the brightness of the dirt layer and the contrast will punch out the dirt layer. You can see as I do that. Now the, the X and Y lock, I can move the dirt around. By holding the shift key down, you can see I can move it around X in the Y direction and even in the Z direction. So I can I can adjust all of those right there inside of this node group. And then we have the ambient occlusion distance. So you can see in the corners in here, it has a, a distance and a strength. I'm going to just adjust the strength first. So you can start to see as we get higher, it gets darker. And if you adjust this, the, the distance, you can see if you go smaller, it gets, it gets tinier. And as it goes bigger, it gets larger. So I'm going to use the default there. Now I also have height settings. So use height. I can turn that completely on. So now it's basically going to add more dirt on the height and less dirt at the top. Right. And we can use the brightness and contrast to adjust that height level. So I'm going to go over here and with Node Wrangler turned on, I'm going to hold Control and Shift and click. And I'll just walk through. There's the That's the color map that we're using. You can see this is going bypassing. It's Control and Shift. Again, that's our bump map. That's our roughness. You notice we're not using the bump map right now. There's a dirt mask. There's our ambient occlusion mask. And this is our height mask. And so to control the height mask, I want to use the brightness and contracts and the strength features. So I'm going to hold the shift key down and just adjust this height brightness. And that's going to move it up and down. The contrast is going to set how tight that line is right there. And the strength is going to tell you how strong the effect is. What we also want, are going to want to do, adjust the roughness based on this fact, uh, based on this map. So I'm going to grab the roughness and put it, plug it directly into here, right? So now when I do that, you'll see that the dark areas are going to be less rough than the brighter areas. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, again, here, bump, roughness. So there's the roughness, right? You can see that the, the darker areas are going to be shinier. And if I want to, I can go into my roughness setting down here and I can punch up that contrast a little bit like this. And then we'll come back over here, control shift clear. And you'll see that. Yeah. So now you can see the dirty is, 
is not rough, but the clean areas are very shiny. So that's how that works. Okay, so let's talk about the bump map real quick. So what I can do is I can take this bump and I'm going to hook that directly into our normal, but that's not going to really do anything. I need to shift A and let's search for a, a bump node and we're going to drag it right in here. And so now the normal fits the normal and then this is going directly. It shouldn't be in the normal because this is a height map because it's gray grayscale. How do I know that? Well, if I go up here and hit control shift on this, you'll see that when we go to bump, you'll see that it's a black and white image. And again, blacks come forward and white or whites come forward, blacks will recede. So I'll go back here and I'll click here. And now that we have this, you see it's the bump is working, but it's really way too coarse. So I'll, I'll set this to 0 0.1, 0 0.1 something like that play around with it you know it may still be a little too much so now you can kind of see that that's that's kind of working pretty good uh, one thing to know is that if in cycles bumps are going to need to be a little stronger let's go back into our uh i'm going to turn off roughness right here and just add manually add some roughness in here and so that we can just look at the bump but in here if we want to add the bump stronger you know we you know we may need to go to like uh 0.5 or something like that to actually see it in cycles. So cycles is going to need a little higher version. Of the and before we close out, let me just do a shift A and let's do an input. Let's do a bevel. And uh, I'm going to talk more about bevel, but samples should always be 16. And the radius is point, point oh oh 0.005. Let's try it there. This will render out correctly inside of cycles. It will not do anything inside of EV. This, this will it'll just be ignored. So just so you know, that detail is ignored. Now notice again, now that we're in EV, you can see that that bump's way too strong, right? So 0.05, that's more like it. So, and then you go back to cycles and you're gonna have to bunch it back up again because it's not, it's not strong enough. But this little bump edge, this little bevel right here, is gonna get, it gives us this little edge right here. When I click here, you see that's gone. So that's the, uh, that's the dirty note. Uh, let's take a look at dirty paint. Okay, so this is this, uh, and this is a interesting because this is using that dirty node, right, to create uh, something that's got these worn edges on it. Uh, as you can tell, even though we're in EV, we still are getting kind of this look of, of, of a beveled edge, even a, a, a beveled, worn paint edge. And so if I look at this, let me move this up, and let's zoom in on this. You'll see it looks, wow, that's really complicated. How do I, how do I even bother getting, how do I get started looking at this? Well, it's really easy. All the user adjustments are in yellow. So that's, that's really the, the, the simple part of this, right? Is that, is that all these things are in yellow. So what I can do is the first thing I can do is I come over here and I can just adjust just the color to whatever I want, right? So I can, I can just adjust the color. So this is our dirt setting. And you know, we just talked about how you can control all that. And we're going to leave that alone. This is pretty much set up to work as it is right now. And the only other things that we might want to change here is just this edge settings here. And so let's talk about that. Well, the color is, is obvious. I can, this is basically the color of whatever that chipped paint effect is on those edges. So, uh, that's, that's all that the width is 0.04. I can move this up and I'll get that. I'll get that thing to burn out over the edges. And one of the nice things about this again, is that notice that the 0.04 in parentheses, that means that's, that's our default. So if I want to go back to the default, I can do it just like that. Let's do uh, 0.06 just for a heck of it. We'll just, we'll just add a little more there. Uh, but bevel intensity, it's just how strong that bevel is. Uh, if I go to zero, see it's kind of gone. So I'm going to just leave it at five. Five is probably the max. It might go a little higher than five, but uh, scrape amount. This is how much how much scraping is going on the outside. See this little, you can kind of tell how much scraping is going on. And that's just, yeah, we'll leave that at 0.5. And the intensity is, of course, how how bright that scra scra scraping, scraping is, right? You know, it can be, you can see it's like popping through or not. So 0.5. Okay, so let's say we want to uh, maybe make the paint a little bit shinier. So I can do that just like we did before. I'm going to come over here and in the... Uh, brightness. I'm going to just, I'm going to shrink that down a little bit. I use the shift key down to hold that. And so you can see, and then contrast, I'll push it up a little bit and you're starting to see that it's, you know, how that works. And that's going to work the same both in cycles and in EV. Now, if you want to actually look at those channels, like we did before, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to control shift click once, twice, three times into the roughness, but nothing changes. Well, why is that? Well, it's because we have two different material outputs. We have one for cycles, one for EV, and we've basically use node wrangler to hook up 
the one for cycle. So I'm just come over here, choose EV here, and now I can see that I can make my adjustments. So when I come back, I control shift on mix shader right there and change this back to cycles. And now we're gonna be back into, you know, what we originally saw. And of course, you know, any changes we make in one is gonna work in the other as well. So that's the CW Dirty Paint material.